All right. Hello, folks. This is here with motorcycling, and uh, no, I am not sitting in my subdivision. I'm actually in some random subdivision that I pulled in because my battery ran out. This is what happens when you don't charge your batteries the night before. Uh, you're about the night before your um, your big day of vlogs. So now I'm down to two batteries instead of having three full batteries. All right. What's up, everybody? Let me turn on my ho off my hazards here. It is a beautiful day outside, as you can see up in the sky here. Not a single cloud, although there's some streak of clouds right over there. But um, no worries. Blue, blue, blue. Looks like it's a kind of a newer neighborhood. Lots of open lots for people to purchase some land and build their dream custom home. Speaking of home, I recently purchased my house, uh, and I want to give you guys an update, not about the house, but um, about my channel to see what's going on. So since I've recently purchased my house, I'm a new homeowner, and I want to talk about some of those experiences. So uh, you know, on this channel, I'm going to start talking about, let's uh, get the bike moving and talking, huh? I'm going to start talking about um, what it's like being a homeowner. And, um, boy, it smells like cow manure out here. It's kind of weird, actually. But it's like being a homeowner, all that good stuff, all that jazz. I'm also going to talk about my bike, obviously. Um, what's going on with the motorcycling part of my life. Uh, this lady is making a turn right, or is she just sitting here? Oops, did I uh, push her to leave? Um... Essentially, I came this close to buying a new motorcycle. Bad, bad me, I know. And I had to stop because I bought a house and there was a lot of things that need to be done to the house. So a lot of the money went into the house. So a new motorcycle is on hold. And along with that, oh, there's a common ear. That makes sense. Along with that, that's why I haven't purchased any new motorcycle gear either. Um, so I wanted to give you guys that update to let you guys know that that's what's going on. I think I'm going to turn before the school bus because I don't want to wait for the guy. And he's far, he's far enough away. Um, and that's what's going oh bottle son of a fish that hurts you look at the pothole you go over the pothole come on here so um but that's not to say i haven't bought anything fun i have purchased something fun oh look another bike uh i have purchased something you know and i uh, will show you guys what's going on with that uh you know in another video but uh, I have recently bought a new power toy and it actually sits next to my bike so uh, that's gonna be in the next video so what else uh, let's see hmm, what else can I talk about besides this is so much fun this is actually probably my fifth time riding uh, the other times the first time I rode it, I did, did a vlog for you guys and then the, the, the subsequent times after that it was kind of night riding and uh, I went to work you know with the bike and I just forgot my my gear to do a vlog so I didn't uh, I didn't do any vlogs those times usually I try to do a vlog when I'm on the bike going somewhere today I went to get my hair cut it's a nice day out so I figured I'll do a vlog and plus I have to update you guys because you know I haven't done anything in a while so I do plan on purchasing some new motorcycle gear and um, it's not gonna be this season it's gonna be uh, more next season and the reason why is I, the, the gear that I've been wanting to purchase is, you know, it suits this bike more than a sport bike. And I've been meaning to get some, um, some gear for this Harley without buying the Harley stuff. Because I really don't like any of the Harley stuff. And I don't like anything that is made by other brands that are kind of, um, for the, you know, that's geared towards the Harley crowd nothing against Harley people okay nothing against the Harley crowd or anything 
I mean, I own a Harley. It's just I like my gear specific to look a specific way. I have a certain taste and style, so I happen to not be a, a big fan of the leathers, uh, the Harley leathers. But I do want an old, to own a leather jacket and uh, some leather uh, and the, the, the kind of retro look. And uh, I've always been wanting to do that. I just don't want to buy a retro looking bike because to me this bike looks more fantastic. Basically, what's happening is I have found some gear that I'm interested in buying and they are leather and they look fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, they're new, so they're expensive, and that's why I'm waiting for next season because I'm hoping that the price will go down and, you know, uh, the new gear rolls out and I'll buy, I'll, buy the, I'll buy the, you know, last seasons. I don't really care if it's last seasons. I'll still wear it. So that's what's going on with that. Also, uh, that's what's going on with my power sport part of my life, motorcycle, motorsport part of my life. Okay, so what else? Okay, there's a, a topic that I want to talk about this summer. And it's been on my mind since I started vlogging. And I feel that I have to talk about it because it's really, you know, a huge part of who I am. And so I really want to talk to you guys about it. I mean, you guys don't have to listen. If this topic makes you uncomfortable, I completely understand. Um... But it's, it's more towards the people in this particular community. Um, and uh, I, I just feel that I've been talking about motorcycling. I've been talking about... I, I want to talk about homeownership. And I just feel like, why would I not talk about me being gay? Th that's such a huge part of who I am. And I, I feel like I want to contribute to that community. And talk to those people who are either struggling through it you know from my perspective um, if if I could be of any help whatsoever if I could be of um, uh, you know a set of ears just to hear your side of the story and if I can give you advice um, obviously I'm gay so I've experienced this my whole life um, I will tell you that I was not you know I was not understanding what it means to be gay until I was uh, a teenager the part that I want to talk about specifically is to be a lesbian and an Asian American lesbian in the United States. I feel that, that uh, this country is pretty tolerant of these types of situations. Um, obviously, I'll go into details later. So, at the same, but at the same time, that there there are other parts of the world that just are as tolerant, and I feel like it's not as a country that, uh, as a whole, there, that that this topic is. Um, is talked about often. It's really just communities as of right now. Just, you know, small communities. And I really want to contribute to this because it's such a huge part of who I am. It's made me stronger than ever. And in my point of view, I don't think my point of view on a lot of things is because I'm gay. I think my point of view uh, has helped me become a strong gay person you know and I don't think being gay has anything to do with my person like my strong personality it's just there are some things that I have to overcome and it's because my personality is so strong that I was able to overcome it but anyways um enough of that I uh, that's really yeah what I want to talk about today there's other topics that I want to talk about too uh possibly starting a family but uh, I don't know we'll see um so yeah, I wanted to give you guys a quick update because I know uh, that uh, it's been a while since I talked about anything else besides my motorcycle gear and uh, oh, a disc golf. So disc golf, I've been really busy with um, doing my other channel for disc golf, uh, running my other company. So I haven't done any personal disc golf videos, but I feel like I'm still doing disc golf because I've been focusing on the other channel. Uh, but I will bring some personal experiences. So um, I'll, I'll have to bring, you know, some type of disc golf videos thing. But there's a lot of disc golf videos out there now. And uh, some of my instructional videos have been helpful, apparently. So I'm thinking that I might do some more this summer on other aspects of disc golf besides just driving technique. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
right now this is feeling so awesome right now oh my god i'm loving this and these roads are amazing and uh, what i found out is that my new neighborhood was a lot of harley riders a lot of cruisers and harley riders in the new area that i live in so i'm super excited about that uh not a lot of sport bikes weirdly so um i might have to change that hint hint uh all right let's just see with motorcycling i will see you guys in the next video